Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Let me introduce myself. My name is Kent. The channel is EOS San Diego. I make a nightly video about the EOS blockchain and all the exciting things going on with EOS. And um, I want to talk a little bit tonight about, first of all, I want to make mention to my son's channel, uh, the Challenge DAC. It's the name of his, uh, his YouTube channel. And he makes some really good videos. He talks a lot about the Challenge DAC that we're creating right now. And um, we got some really good things coming up here really soon. One of the things we're coming up with with the Challenge app is that um, um, we notice that there's a lot of, um, of places on Facebook and Twitter and different uh, social medias where there's accountability groups where you're being held accountable to doing something uh, like a workout or stay in shape or something like that. We're gonna in in uh, we're gonna uh, integrate that into the Challenge app. So. You can challenge somebody, which means a challenge between two people, or you can actually challenge uh, the house. You can challenge uh, uh, the challenge, uh, uh, and we'll, we'll, place, we'll stake the tokens. So you can challenge us to hold yourself accountable to something like a workout. There'll be other challenges coming up in the future too, like a, a going to work challenge, uh, just a lot of things we got coming up that we're talking about building that we will make from this uh, from these smart contracts that we're creating online. But um, check out Chase's channel. It's uh, Challenge DAC. Challenge DAC is the name of the channel. Um, I'm also want, want to do tomorrow, I want to do a, uh, a live stream. I almost, I'm probably about 80% certain I'll do the live stream tomorrow. I'm not 100% certain because I've got some other stuff going on I got to complete before I can do the live stream. But I want to do a live stream. And I, the reason I want to do the live stream is because I want to discuss things that uh, I don't discuss on this channel. I, 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 I discuss a lot of things in the general way about EOS in this channel on this nightly video, but I want to do a stream and I want to get deeper into stuff with EOS. I want to get on the, on, on the Cleos um, command line. I want to start a, you know, I'll show you how to, how to, how to st start uh, running a node in EOS. Uh, we want to, I'll show you how to start a smart contract. Um, we'll talk about wallets. Uh, We'll talk about the gray mass and the, uh, uh, how to set up a wallet, how to go and set up a wallet with, uh, with the toolkit, the EOS toolkit. Uh, just a lot of things, uh, the mobile wallets, all the different ones with the mobile wallets. Uh, we'll go deeper into EOS on this live stream and you'll be able to interact with me. And we'll do programming, um, we'll do whatever you want to do. I mean, I'm, I, I'm open to showing you how to do an airdrop, I'm open to showing you how to do build a uh, a uh, dApp or an application like we're building. I'll even open up the GitHub. We'll go through the code. We'll take a look at it. We'll see all the different things that we needed to do in order to get it ready for the blockchain. Literally go through everything that uh, it takes in order to be with EOS. Uh, EOS is not that hard. Don't let anybody tell you that it is. And also don't let anybody tell you that you got to be an expert to know this stuff. You don't. Um, you just have to be able to Get online and patiently go through the material because it's easy to understand and anybody can do it. You don't need to be a programmer and you don't need to be a computer whiz or genius in order to understand this. And one of the things that's hurting EOS right now is that so many people are intimidated by it. Please don't be intimidated by it. And that's why I'm hoping to do these live streams to show you this stuff isn't that hard. That anybody can go on and create a, an account. Anybody can, uh, can do an airdrop. Anybody can do a... Uh, a debt, an application or a dApp. Anybody can go on the EOS blockchain and build something. This is not that difficult. And I want to do live streams to show people that it's not that difficult. Um, the other thing I want to talk about here briefly is I want to talk about how when uh, my son made a video the other day about the challenge dApp, one of the things he, he mentioned is that you'd have to enter your private keys. And of course, right away the comments started coming like, oh my God, I have to enter my private key. I saw that with Scatter too. Uh, when Nathan James came out with Scatter, everybody kind of freaked out with the private key thing. Um, EOS is a is is a much more uh, it's it's a more secure platform to work with. You you don't the, the private keys aren't as big an issue with the EOS platform. In fact, I haven't heard of anybody yet that's lost any EOS once the EOS main chain is uh, mainnet is launched. I haven't heard anybody yet. There were a few people that were concerned about. They missed the deadline as far as switching over from the ERC20 to the to the to the EOS token, but I think that got resolved. In fact, the people that were contacting talking to me got that resolved. So I haven't heard anybody yet that's been hacked on the EOS for the main net. The main net's very secure, 
And also, your private key will be obsolete very soon. You won't need a private key anymore. It'll be obsolete. I mean, they're already talking about Block One is going to make a, um, a, a hardware wallet with the Apple device. So you have an Apple device. You simply use your finger or whatever it is that you use to, you know, your, your fingerprint to in order to to uh, get on your, your mobile device and your EOS will be on your mobile device. You won't need the private key anymore. So this idea that everybody freaks out and gets real sensitive about a private key is is, is not going to be a b big issue in the, in the future. You won't need a private key anymore. That's been one of the things about uh, cryptocurrencies that's held cr cryptocurrencies back. Everybody gets paranoid about the private key. If your private key gets out, everybody starts thinking that you know they're going to get robbed or everything's going away and there'll be zero tomorrow morning. and. Uh, you know, the world's falling in and everything's going to hell in a handbasket. Not true. The private key is something of the past. That's that's the way Bitcoin operated. That's the way these proof of work uh, platforms were operated by private keys. And private keys were very important when you didn't have established people making the blocks. Now that you have established people making the blocks, twin and block producers, you have governance involved. In fact, one of the people that... Um, you know, the governance thing has been very, very big with EOS. It's been been all over the place. Everybody knows about it. Uh, things can be remedied with EOS if you lose your private key or somebody hacks your account. There can be ways of getting your, your EOS back. So there's a lot of security in EOS, a lot more security than with other blockchains. You don't need to be so paranoid about your private keys. Your private key, in fact, there's three keys with EOS, but you don't have to be as paranoid about those keys because uh, with EOS, there's a lot of security in the main net. And it's built in security with, with governance. I mean, everybody knows about Thomas Cox, who's been very, very vocal in the community. Uh, he's talked about this over and over again about governance, about the ability to uh, protect people, the arbitration and all this stuff. So don't be so worried about the private key. The private key is more or less something that uh, was more of the early cryptocurrencies, the early stage uh, uh, things. Not that it's not important, because it is. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's going to be it's going to be something that's going to be less and less important in the future, uh, especially with the new mobile wallets uh, that are coming out, the hardware wallets, the mobile wallets, where you literally just have your information on a device, and of course your your device is protected. And just because your private keys on your device doesn't mean anybody else can get it, because uh, you're protected like you are with any other thing. Your your Gmail. Uh, everything else that you have, all the other personal information is protected, just like that's the way your private key will be protected. That content, that information will be protected, so you don't have to worry about it. So literally in the future, EOS will make the private key, the private key obsolete. Uh, and they're doing it very quickly. Uh, Block One is coming up with the, with the hardware wallet, you know, the, using the mobile device, the Apple device as a, as a wallet, as, as a way to store your, your, your EOS. So, don't be so sensitive about that. You can use your private keys and not be hacked and not lose your EOS. So I just want to make that that point. And like I said, tomorrow will be a live feed, hopefully about 85, 90% sure. And we're going to talk about a lot of stuff. We're going to talk a, lot, a little bit more about the technical side of EOS. And, and like I say, it's not difficult stuff. Anybody can do it. And don't let anybody tell you you can't. I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.